Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad. You know, don't get me wrong. Thanks. Um, yes, I am still alive, but, uh, no. Other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks It's okay. It's... you tried. That's all you can do. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just... Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. It's science. A science. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah. Look, we tuned into something in the cave, and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout, okay? Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. (laughs) But there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive... It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can- Okay, Ren, just take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Yeah, and she could hardly muster two... Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. (laughs) There is is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not not that you wouldn't Yeah, be. it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Meathead. I'm eccentric. Ugh, stop it! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. 
Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still... We're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like... Like, I want to be, like, needed. Just... Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. Good luck with the thing, Alex.